Welcome back to second part of uh, important questions uh, for the network analysis video. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss the most important five questions. Please don't leave that particular question. I'm sure that among five, two will be asked in the examination. Uh, I'm anticipating like that. So anyway, let's have a fruitful discussion. So moving on to the first question. Uh, sometimes you may get a, like a theoretical type questions like uh, explain uh, Z parameters. So kindly uh, make a note of this. So I'll be uh, focusing on As you can observe, uh, the like the questions will be like uh, explain the basic uh, equations or what do you mean by z parameter, y parameter, and ABCD parameter. You may get like a uh, like a uh, short answer type questions. So this is the basic equations. Okay, from the equation, this is actually impedance parameters. Set parameters are basically called impedance parameters. No, so set one that equations you can uh, make out set one, but how to calculate set one one? Set one one is nothing but uh, v one by uh, I1 where the I2 is equal to 0. Uh, just like an open circuit. No, I1, I2 is equal to 0 means what? What is I2 is equal to 0? There is no secondary current. Okay. Like that. That means it's an open, open type. Likewise, you can write the set, uh, set 1, 2. Set 1, 2 is nothing but V1 divided by I2 where I1 is equal to 0. Like that. So try to find out these equations, try to highlight this equation whenever you get a question. So even numerical examples also, you can uh, you can make sure that these equations are returned whenever, if they ask any numerical type of questions, that also you have to confirm. So at least if you write these equations in a numerical example, no, definitely they will get a two or three marks. So don't leave that. Similarly, admittance parameters, Y parameters. Okay, what is Y parameters? See? So this is regarding the y parameter. Even uh, there are numerical examples. At that time, you need to note down the basic equation. This matrix you have to learn. Later, you have to uh, state that y11. How to calculate y11? Admittance. No, admittance means i1 by v1. Correct. No, opposite of resistance. Uh, when I when, when I talk about the impedance parameter, means voltage by current. Where admittance means what? Current by resistance. Cur current by voltage. Okay, reverse. So just opposite. Correct. No? Yes. Where V2 is equal to 0. What is V2 is equal to 0? V2 means uh, output voltage that is equal to 0. That What does it mean? Short it. Understood? No. Yeah. This is Y1. But admittance. These are the admittance parameters. Similarly, we require like the ABCD parameters. In electrical engineering, ABCD parameters are generally called as transmission line parameters. Okay. So these are the three important uh, parameters which is required. Uh, for solving the numerical example, you may get a theoretical type question as well. So we can anticipate like that. If you get a theoretical question, that is well and good. Directly you can write the uh, like uh, mention the name, impedance parameter, uh, like that is set parameter, admittance parameters, by parameters, even transmission line parameters like the ABCD parameters. Like that you can uh, highlight. Theoretically you can explain. Okay. Now we, we have to solve some numerical example. So you might have studied about the Laplace transform. What is Laplace transform? So we'll be working on the S frequency domain or S domain. Okay. So time domain, we are we, we have to convert into S domain. That is what we are using the Laplace transform. So there are so many advantages if you convert time domain into S domain because we can we may not work, we, we may not able to work everything in time domain. So it is better to convert time domain into S domain, or we can call it as a frequency domain. All right. So that is what we are using the conversion called the Laplace transform. You might have studied about Z transform also. So in the Laplace transform, I will tell you how to convert Laplace transform. Basic definition is nothing but L of F of T is equal to F of S. I request everybody to study the important formula for the Laplace transform. Important. There are so many formulas available. So prepare a checklist. Now only you prepare a checklist. Important formula uh, which is used in Laplace transform. So th that is uh, having more uh, like uh, you can solve so many number of problems. Okay. Whenever like these kind of waveforms, as you can see, there is a waveforms. For example, Laplace transform of unit step signal, Laplace transform of a periodic signal, Laplace transform of a uh, ramp signal. Like that, you please prepare. Now only you make a note of this. Prepare a checklist of uh, uh, the various functions. L of t, L of t square. Okay, L of S to the power, L of T to the power N. For example, L of T to the power N. So how to calculate it? Okay, N factorial divided by S to the power N plus 1. Like that, some formula will be available. All right. So uh, please make sure that uh, uh, you, you, you study all the uh, standard formula. Kindly make a note of this. Okay, because in mathematics also, you people will be studying this. So that it will be easy. Okay, now we will solve the problem. This kind of problem you can expect. Any type of waveforms they will give. I will tell you the general idea. 
calculate the laplace transform of the signal shown in the figure the first step is you have to define what is the signal the first step so first of all we will define the signal what is the signal uh, as you can see the signal you have to define first so let us define uh, what is a function function is b of t only no b of t so you note down b of t okay so this waveform we will convert into equations so how to make out so what you can do is here you have to take care of the amplitude here one amplitude is 2 here amplitude is 3 here amplitude is 4 here so like v of t is equal to 1 into u of t minus 1 this for how u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2 this portion is completed into 1 okay that means our height is 1 only plus another signal what about another signal here now let us uh, talk about this particular signal uh, u of uh, u of t minus 2 u of t minus 2 yes it's correct only u of t minus 3 but the height is 2 only so you have to multiply with the 2 correct plus what about the third one third one you will split like this it will be easy for you u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 4 multiplied with the 3 height is 3 only amplitude is 3 plus what about the fourth one uh, 4 into 4 is the height 4 into u of t minus 4 minus u of t minus 5 so like that you have to define define the signal then try to solve it now this graphical representation that you convert into uh, ma mathematical formula now it is your uh, like the ball is in your court you can directly apply your laplace transform i think you are understanding this is a general method if you get any type of waveform don't panic uh, you convert in this particular fashion so that your job will be very easier so i think you are uh, you are understanding what i am talking okay yes now what you can do is try to simplify it. U of t minus 1 is available here. Minus u of t minus 2 plus 2 into u of t minus 2. 2, two, two u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus 2 is how much? u of t minus 2 only. Like that you try to simplify it. You know the basic simplification which you studied in the uh, school level. right? So try to simplify it. While simplifying you should be very much careful. Okay, That you have to take care. Yes. What I am going to do is. Uh, the simplified expression I am going to take in take care into consideration. Next is actually called I need to calculate the S domain. That means Laplace transform. V of S is nothing but Laplace transform of V of T. So I would like to take the Laplace transform of entire segment. So Laplace individually I have to take like a L log U of T minus 1 plus L log uh, U of T minus 2 uh, plus uh, L log uh, U of T minus 3 uh, plus uh, 3 into L of U of T minus 4 plus minus minus 4 into L of U of T minus 5. In this fashion, I need to make out. So, L of U of T minus 1, this you have to study. That means uh, 1 by S into E to the power minus S. L of U of T minus 2 means 1 by S into E to the power minus 2S. L of U of T minus 3 is nothing but 1 by S into E to the power minus 3S. Uh, similarly, uh, 3 is a constant. So, let me keep outside. 1 by S into e to the power minus 4S. So, like that, uh, uh, for, for last one, uh, for, uh, 4 into uh, 1 by S into uh, e to the power minus 5S. Like that, you have to simplify. I think it's clear to everybody. So, that is the result. Uh, you will get the six, say one of the six mark question. You may get uh, this kind of questions in the examination also. Similar kind of waveforms. Okay. Or different type of waveforms. Don't be panic and you can easily solve it. Okay. Yeah, next another question is. So that is also another simple question. Five mass question. Express the signal in terms of unit step signal and calculate its Laplace transform. So we have the waveform Z of T, a function called Z of T. Okay, Z of T, which is uh, already uh, in the form uh, in, in this particular form. What you can do is you define the function Z of T is equal to U of T minus 2 minus U of T minus 4. Okay. Next, what you can do is take the Laplace transform. Then you will be getting the answer. Okay. Similarly, Lapla, uh, Laplace transform. Uh, so this is actually uh, the questions. Okay. Remaining questions I will be discussing in the next session. Happy learning. Thank you so much for watching this video.